Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. I'm going to add to a story that I did yesterday, a video that I did yesterday. So yesterday I did a video about Meghan Markle being seen walking around the farmer's market in Montecito and I said that she had bought flowers. And I also mentioned that the tabloids had created a new drama about her bringing her dog inside the market when it was prohibited. And I told you guys that they actually posted a picture of a sign that says that no dogs were allowed in the market. What's really interesting about this sign, right, is that it didn't actually belong to the market that Meghan Markle had gone to. This is because Meghan Markle had gone to the market in Montecito, the farmer's market in Montecito, and the sign, the no dogs allowed sign, belonged to the market in Santa Barbara, a completely different market. How do we know that? We know that because a familiar of the two places who happens to be a fan of Meghan Markle noted that. And she put the two pictures together and told people on Twitter that the tabloids just used the picture or photo of a sign that don't belong to the market where Meghan Markle was at just to create a negative narrative. This is crazy. I think it might be against the, the ontology of journalism or it must be against some kind of rules. You can't use you can't use facts or completely false information to write an article with, right? They're using a sign that says no dogs allowed, but it's not for the place that Megan was going to. This is to show you the lengths these people are ready to go to in order to malign her, in order to write negative stories about her. This is not the first time. Again, if you remember, I told you about Simon Rex, who said that he was contacted by a tabloid and was offered $70,000 so he can say that he slept with Megan. When he actually met her, they had dinner together and that's it. So like I said, people try to gaslight Megan Markle's fans saying that no, Megan Markle is not being unfairly criticized. But every day there are things coming out and these things are not right. And it's our place as fans to show it here. And this is very perverse. How can you write an article that's super negative. You pretend that she did something that she didn't do, right? But then you use a picture or a photo that's not connected to the actual subject that you're writing about. That's crazy. Let me know what you think. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.